What's good beautiful people, it's your boy Emmanuel, welcome back again to the channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Emmanuel, I review African music, album reviews, countdowns, go check it out. Today's video, the African giant himself dropping a new track, Odogo. Today we're not doing a reaction, but instead we're doing a simple track review. I'm not going to be playing any part of the song because Bernard Boys people don't play with copyright tracks, man. These people, like, two seconds, everything busts. We're not going to be going through all that while out today, I beg. So first off, when I first heard the title, Odogo, it was obvious he was trying to appeal with the Igbo crowd and, you know, get that kind of reaction out of them. And immediately, it took me way back to when the band was rolling out his entertainer album, when he dropped this track. Anyways, don't let me get carried away. Sha <laughs> the reason why we're here today, Brenna Boy Odogo. So let me get a listen to the song. Alright, we just finished listening to the track. My first impression of the song is it was meant, like I get the intention behind it. It was trying to appeal to the Igbo uh, perspective. I like the nice soothing high life guitar riff in the intro. It was nice, it was smooth. But I kept expecting like a solid drop into the song. Like a solid like, like moment to strike and to gain my attention. But the entire time I just felt like it was leading us on this cliffhanger. But nothing, nothing eventually like happened. Like it was just this... Suit sailing, he didn't have any riffs here and there, he didn't take any bridges where he would just like play around, sound playful, or not even like instill like Igbo language, any form of Igbo, say like an Igbo catchphrase, just something to appeal with the Igbo like crowd at least, because like I see his intention there. But the instrumentation for me was the biggest like part where this song could have been developed a lot more. I felt like it was just a little bit lifeless the entire moment. I just, I, just wanted a little bit more, a little bit more ginger, a little bit more excitement about you going into the Igbo land and like people down there calling you a dogo. Because right now I'm preferencing like that Igbo song that the band did, that the energy, the... Because the intention is kind of similar, so it's kind of a fair comparison in this sense. If you're coming into a particular space that you're not really fond of or you're not really known to be like an Igbo, Igbo kind of act, at least like go knee deep into the cultures, make some references to the food, make some references to their lifestyle, make some references to the dancing, make light of the differences in culture at least. But anyways, that wasn't really like met with the song. See, I'm a Yoruba boy. I was expecting not to understand every Igbo term that we was, he was going to drop. But looking back into the song, there was not that many Igbo references. It was just a song, hey, everybody just calling me Odogu, Odogu. And that was pretty much the entire song. And just a very soothing instrumental that I felt like if Kelpie was behind that, man. Like, you know those Kelpie drum rolls? Like, like scatter the entire beat. Do you know what I mean? Like, have fun. Be playful. I know I know what the atmosphere was trying to build up for, but it just felt too... It just felt a little bit too predictable. You know, we needed more surprises, just more life, enthusiasm for the record, and all that was lacking, man. And the call and response intention behind the song, too, was very, very soft. Like, it was, yeah, it's a call and response thing, but it's an easy call and response that people get tired of. It wasn't really engaging. Or it was just odogu, odogu, odogu. You feel like you wanted to say something else. You wanted to, like, have more fun. He, definitely, the direction, the creative direction for the song is there, but just... The execution wasn't really met with it at all. And this is a very poor song, knowing the kind of caliber that Burner Boy has and the kind of excitement he can put into a song, the kind of passion and enthusiasm that you can get from him could have been done a lot more, in my opinion. Let me know in the comment section, did you guys, did you guys really rate this song? For me, it kind of felt soft, and if I was to put a number to it, I'd give it a four. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're new to the channel, again, go check out the other content. I just put out a very fun game with a couple of my friends called Guess the Video. It's a quick one where I show the screenshot of an iconic music video from Nigeria, and I have my friends guessing them. It was so much fun creating that, and I would love for you guys to jump on that. Thank you so much for watching again. I've been your boy, Emmanuel. I'm signing out. See you in the next one. Peace.